Hey there, in this video, we are going to be deriving the geometric progression formulas. So we have three formulas here, which is TN formula, SN formula, as well as the S infinity formula, which is the sum of infinity formula. So let us get started. So to start off, let me just write down all the formulas. So we have the TN formula for geometric progression. So TN formula is A R N minus 1. Okay, so that's the TN formula. And then we also have the SN formula. So SN formula, similar to arithmetic, you have two. The first one is SN is equals to A R power N minus 1 over R minus 1. So this you use this formula when R is more than 1. And then you have the second formula, which is 1 minus R power N over 1 minus r. So this one is when um, r is less than 1. Okay, and then the last one is the sum of infinity. So sum of infinity will be 1, eh, sorry, a over 1 minus r. And the condition is modulus r must be less than 1. Okay, so these are the, I would say, four formulas, but actually the these two are quite similar. Lah, okay, but I'll show you all how. So we start off with the first one, Tn. So Tn, okay, wait. So we, similar to arithmetic, we're going to do one by one. So first, T1. So where n is equals to 1, T1 is equals to A, correct? And then when n is equals to 2, T2 is equals to A times R. When n is equals to 3, T3 is equals to A times R times r again, so a r square, okay? So if you write in terms of like similar to the formula, right, it's going to be a times r power 0, and then when n is equals to 2, a times r power 1, n is equals to 3 times a, f equals to a times r square. So if you're finding for a, uh, sorry, n, it will be a times r, n minus 1. Okay, so that's the relationship between the n value and all the r values. Okay, you just have to minus 1. Clear? So this one is uh, pretty straightforward, so I won't spend too much time here. Now, the complicated one is the SN formula. But don't worry, it's not as bad as the arithmetic. Arithmetic is more complicated. So we... Okay, let me just write the formula first. Huh? So SN equals to A r power n minus 1 r minus 1 okay so this is when r more than 1 the second formula is a sorry 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r okay so you got two of this formula now the first step of the derivation is actually similar for both cases okay it's just the second part of the uh, derivation which is different okay depending on which formula you're trying to derive so i'll do the first part first first part is the same for both okay so the first part we start off with the sn formula again what is the sn formula we know that it's t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on all the way until tn okay so if we expand that we will get t1 is a plus uh, T2 is AR plus AR square and so on until you get AR N minus 1. That is the TN formula. Okay. So now this is your um, first equation. Oops. This is your first equation. Now you also need a second equation. So what is the second equation? So if you remember the first uh, arithmetic one, first one is ascending order and then the second equation is descending order but in this case there is no such thing okay you don't have to do that but what you have to do is the first equation is the same the basic form which is what i just did but the second equation is very easy you just have to multiply by r just multiply by r okay so you get your second equation so the whole equation multiplied by r you get rsn equals to a r plus a r square because all this just multiply r all the terms you just multiply r so you get a r 3 and so on 
until the last value here is so now you got a r n minus 1 and then you times r again so what do you get in case uh, for those who are not familiar with indices so you times r so these two you have to combine right the power if times means you plus the power together so you get n minus 1 plus 1 so you get 0 so it's the same as a r sorry a r n sorry power n so you get a r power n clear so now the first part is done okay so let me recap huh? we just do the first equation then you multiply r to get the second equation so this is your second equation okay so now what you're going to do is depending on which uh, formula you're doing you're trying to derive you have to do differently okay so if let's say you are solving uh, right here the first formula okay the first sn formula then you have to do this you take the second equation minus the first equation okay you take second equation minus the first equation so what you will get is okay let's see here huh? so the second equation when you minus this you get r sn minus sn equals to so i want you all to see this huh? when you minus the second equation from the first equation this one and this one they are the same so if you minus means what you can just cancel right and this one is and this one is the same so you can cancel when you minus huh? this one and there will be another one here a r power 3 the next term so they will be the same so you can actually cancel and this one will be the same as one more term in front here which is a r n minus 1 just right before this okay the one in front so this and this will be the same so you can actually cancel okay they're actually re repeating the same thing so when you minus so what you have left is this and this okay what you have is that too so you get a r n minus because you're subtracting right minus a so you got this okay so now you're going to factorize both sides so what are you going to factorize you're going to factorize s n so you have r minus 1 and then the right hand side you're going to factorize a so you get r power n minus 1 so when you bring this over you get the formula a r n minus 1 over r minus 1 now provided r must be more than 1 because otherwise you get uh, not possible lah. so it has to be more than 1 okay so this is the first equation okay now if you want to find the second equation then instead of second minus the first you take first minus the second okay when you take first minus the second now you get sn minus rsn equals to now this this one all same thing huh? you're still going to cancel each other so you're going to have in the end it's just this and this again so it's a minus a r power n okay same thing you're going to factorize both side r minus 1 and then factorize a you get 1 minus r power n so you shift this across you get s n equals to a 1 minus r power n over r minus 1 provided r is less than 1 oh wait did i do something wrong oh wait sorry sorry i wrote wrongly this one shouldn't be r minus 1 this is 1 minus r my bad my bad 1 minus r okay so provided r is less than 1 okay so this is your second sn formula all right so the last formula is the sum of infinity correct so sum of infinity is what formula is a over 1 minus r provided modulus r is less than 1 now how do we do this we start with the second formula of the sn okay we start with this okay provided 
r is uh, less than 1. Okay, we start with this. Okay, so now since you're finding for Sn, uh, sorry, you're finding for infinity, right? So that means n value approach infinity. It goes to infinity. So what happens? See, uh, this is what is going to happen. When n approaches infinity, your r value, sorry, not your r value, your rn value will go, will become 0. Okay, now if you don't understand why, why is this the case, you see, uh, we know that um, r, how to say, uh, okay, let's say, let's say r is equals to 0 0.5, let's say, okay, r, uh, because it's less than 1, right, so r equals to 0 0.5, so if you put r uh, sorry 0 0.5 to the power of infinity okay we don't have infinity in your calculator right you just put a very big number let's say you put a thousand or you can put hundred ten thousand hundred thousand you can put any power okay just make it a very big power so we are assum assuming it is infinity you will get an answer which is very close to zero if you're using your calculator um, probably you just they will just put that zero, but if more accurate answer, it will be zero point zero 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 something. Okay, so it's very close to zero. So it's actually approximately zero lah. So in other words, when n approaches infinity, the R n value becomes zero. So in that case, the S infinity. So when I put this value becomes infinity, the R n this Rn here, this Rn will also approach, will, will approach 0. Okay, so when you approach 0, what happens is, there is no more Rn, okay, R power N. So it's just A at the top and 1 minus R. Okay, but also the case is provided, right, this lah, okay, it's, that's the condition. So, that's how we do it. Okay, so let me just recap uh, what we have done so far. The first first one is TN formula. So the TN formula is quite straightforward. I'm not going to explain so much. The second one, the SN formula, you first form your equation, first equation first, T1 plus T2 plus T3 all the way to TN. Then you expand it. Okay, so you get A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube until the final term. So that's your first equation. After that, you take the first equation, multiply by r to get the second equation. Okay, so now that you have first and second equation, so now depending on which formula you want to derive. If you are deriving the first formula here, this formula, then you take second equation minus the first equation. Okay, if you are deriving this equation, the second one, then, uh, sorry, if you are deriving the second formula, then you take the first equation minus the second equation, okay? Then you can just refer to this, lah, okay? Then you just factorize and you get your formula, clear? Now, if you want to find sum of infinity, you use back the second formula here, the SN formula, the second one, and just understand that when N approaches infinity, that means when it becomes a very big value, the RN value will become zero, okay? will become 0. So when it becomes 0, all that is left is A over 1 minus R. Clear? So that's about it. I hope you find this useful. Again, if you don't understand, put in the comment and I will try to explain in the comment section. Right? So that's all. I hope to see you on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.